All right, we are going to um, solve absolute value equations. First, we're going to do it graphically. And one way you can do things graphically when you have equations like this is to set up two equations. One equation, f of x equal to the left side over here. The other equation, g of x equal to this. Let's graph this g of x equals 2 first. It's much easier. It, it kind of just is a horizontal line right there, similar to y equals 2. And let's go ahead and graph this, all right? This one right here says go, well, remember that's a, let's, let's write all our values for that one. The A is two, that's a stretch, right? I look in here, that's my H, which is five, and that's my K, which is negative four. So this means I go right five, one, two, three, four, five, down four, I'm right there. And then this A means every time I go over 1, I go up 2 because it's been vertically stretched. I'm going to go twice as far as up as I do um, left to right. So if I go over 1, I go up 2, over 1, up 2, over 1, up 2. I'm going to touch right there, 2. Same thing in the other direction, over 1, up 2, over 1, up 2, right there. And our answers here are going to be wherever wherever those two graphs touch. So it looks like they touch with this scale at two and with the scale at eight. All right, just uh, double check, this should be in the middle. So yes, five is in the middle of two and eight, so I am okay. Why might you expect most absolute values to have two solutions? Why not three or four? Um, well, a B shaped graph will often reach Y values twice. And remember, Ys are our solution. So if I'm looking for a Y value of two, I want to reach it over here and over here. All right. Is it possible for an absolute value to have no solutions? Well, I, I, I'm just going to draw one of these. Let's say that this is g of x equals 2. What if I have a graph that opens down? I would say yes. No solutions, right? It never actually ever touches this. All right. So Now, there's a way to solve algebraically, and I'm going to pause right there. We're going to do a bunch of algebraically with the next video.